Look at any social media feed and you will see it. Passive income will set you free. But take it from me, with over 20 years in finance, this is a trap. Because it can tie down your true potential. We are about to wake up and bust some myths. And we'll tackle the real story behind passive income, why chasing it can backfire, and what you should do instead for real success. Let's break down the myth of passive income, starting with what it's supposed to be. Money you make easily without much work. Sounds great, right? But here's the thing. The word unearned in its definition is misleading. It suggests you don't have to work for it, which isn't the case. Take buying a house to rent it out. It's a classic passive income idea. Sounds simple, right? You buy a house, you get tenants, you collect rent. But anyone who's done it will tell you there's a lot more to it. First off, buying a house takes money. Money you worked hard to earn. And once you start renting it out, there is upkeep and repairs and dealing with tenants. The list goes on. Or consider making videos for YouTube. It might seem like you just upload a video and watch the money roll in. But the truth is, creating content that people truly want to watch takes a lot of time, effort, and creativity. And to keep earning, you have to keep creating and engaging with your audience. What we often see is just the success story, not the hard work behind it. I've seen the allure of easy money in my finance career. But trust me, the reality is you're putting in the work one way or the other. So let's get real about what passive income actually requires and why chasing after it might not be the shortcut to success you might imagine. The idea of getting money just because, without earning it in the traditional sense, that might sound appealing, but it's not as satisfying as it seems. First of all, ask yourself, would you feel good about money you didn't really work for? Sure, it might be nice at first, but think about the satisfaction you get from achieving something you've worked hard for. There is a sense of pride and accomplishment in earning your keep that simply can't be matched by passive income. And then there is the trap of thinking, if I had enough passive income, I can do what I love without worrying about money. Sounds perfect, right? But again, here's the twist. To generate that kind of wealth, you need to be really good at what you do. And when you are really good at something, passion follows. Suddenly, it's not about the money anymore. You're doing it because you love it. And the income is just a bonus. The alternative, spending your life doing something you don't enjoy, just for the sake of money. That path leads to misery. I've seen too many people lose their spark chasing after an easy payday, only to realize too late that they've spent years in pursuit of something that doesn't fulfill them. So if not passive income, then what? How do we find a balance between earning and enjoying life? It's about finding what you're good at, yes, but it's also about loving what you do. When you find something that ticks both boxes, you won't have to chase the illusion of passive income. You'll be too busy living a life filled with purpose, passion and, yes, profit. But the kind that's earned in a way that makes you proud. Instead of getting caught in the passive income trap, there is a more fulfilling path to success. It's often said, do what you love. But I'll let you in on a little secret. It's not just about doing what you love from the start. It's about exploration, about giving yourself the freedom to try, fail and learn. You don't need to have it all figured out from the beginning. The journey starts with curiosity. Dip your toes into different waters. Maybe you'll find out that you're not as passionate about something as you thought you may be. Or maybe you'll discover a skill you didn't even know you had. Let me share a bit of my own journey. As a teenager, I was drawn to the excitement of stock trading, dabbling in everything from stocks to options to commodities to currencies. And despite my enthusiasm, I was on a losing streak essentially gambling away my dad's money. 
It wasn't until university that I discovered my knack for understanding the why behind financial losses. And this led me to a career in risk management, a field I didn't just excel in, but I grew to love. My path wasn't about finding immediate success, it was about exploration, learning from my failure and ultimately discovering where my skills and passions intersect. The real trick is to turn those experiences, these skills you've honed through trial and error into a foundation for your financial independence. This isn't about chasing passive income. It's about making informed, active decisions with the money you've earned. Investing wisely means putting your money to work in a way that aligns with your skills, passions and values. It's proactive, not passive. This shift in mindset from passive income to active engagement in both work and finances isn't just more fulfilling, it's genuinely sustainable. Success then isn't just measured by your bank balance, but by how well aligned you are with your work, how much you enjoy what you do, and how wisely you manage the fruits of your life. So what's the takeaway from all this talk about passive income? Simple. The real deal is about rolling up your sleeves and diving into what lights you up. Forget about sitting back and hoping that cash flows in. It's about getting your hands dirty in a good way. It's trying stuff out, seeing what sticks and loving the process. You'll find something that clicks, something that you are good at and something that sparks joy. And when you do, that's where you put your energy, not into chasing dreams of money for nothing. I'm curious about your take on this or if you had a similar journey, drop a comment below. Let's get a real conversation started. Stay focused on what truly matters to you and I'll see you in the next video.